When I was younger, English is not my first language. Immigrated here, moved around a lot, had to be forced to make friendships with people, and didn't do well in school, dropped out of college, but then I think, well, how am I so far ahead in life versus a lot of the kids that I went to high school and college with? I had a second education. My father owned a small business in Wrigleyville in Chicago. I was there every Saturday. He'd say, boy, you better be ready at 8 a.m. We're going to work. There's no such thing as college football. You're going to learn the real education. If you're not going to school, you're going to come to work. So it became my habit. I would go every Saturday, and then on summer breaks, I'd be there six days a week, get a car dealership. And I would show up. First thing I do is I start all the cars in the winter. I make sure no check engine lights were on. I make sure the car presented well. I line up all the rows of the cars. I make sure all the snow was shoveled. Then I come back in, hang all the keys up. Then I would do more porter work. Wash cars, vacuum cars, buff cars. I learned all that. Then I learned how to sell cars. Then I learned how to go to banks and pick up checks. Things like that. I learned how to count money. So when I became older, I was not intimidated by money. I can dream big. I knew how to deal with different types of people, different ethnicities, because they have the way they like to be communicated to. Being in a big city like Chicago, I learned that. That's why I am where I am is because I had that second street education. Emotional intelligence, communication, negotiation, selling, listening, discovering, following up, all these things.